Hey guys, how you doing? It's Carlos. Um, here to talk about how to start a carpet cleaning business. Um, it's a very lucrative business. It's something that you know you can start off with not that much money. You know, to be honest with you, you can get a great machine for you know a couple thousand, uh, probably less than that. But I think you know that's a good uh, a good point to get a really good machine, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of people's homes and stuff. And uh, you know, there's a couple ways you can do this. If you're you know starting off on a tight budget I recommend starting off with uh, residential carpet cleaning that way um, your machines are going to be able to to hold up unless you got a lot more money and you want to start going commercial and whatnot but the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, form an LLC um, you're going to want to make sure you have the proper paperwork for your county state or wherever jurisdiction you live in you want to call them find out exactly what you know link on their website you have to go to to download their page make sure you do that with that paperwork you're going to be able to do your taxes through the company and you're going to be able to go to the bank and get a bank account then you're obviously the next step after that is you're going to have to get insurance you're going to want to make sure you're insured that way um, you know you're going to be held liable if, if you know an accident were to happen you're not going to have to fork over thousands of dollars um, to a to a customer you want to make sure you have insurance okay then once you have that really and you have the tools the mean potatoes of any business is going to be marketing all right you're going to definitely get any small business owner what they're really in is they're in the business of marketing so you're going to want to figure out in your area what's the best and effective way to market okay some places you know using money mailers something like valve pack or money mailer that might be a good option for them okay other places if you live by a metro dc area metropolitan area like i live by washington dc right here google making sure you're found on google on google maps like these companies right there making sure you have a website to be found by google is probably the most important thing you're going to want to do that's how you're going to get a ton of leads and once you get this set up it's an initial investment but then it's you don't have to continuously pay like you would to be in the yellow pages or something like that Google just wants to show results of the most relevant searches the most relevant content for what people are looking for so if you put up a good website and people leave great reviews guess what they're not going to touch you they're not going to move you out of the front page so that's one of the you know one of the things I recommend another thing I recommend is you're gonna to wanna to network and one of the best places to network is realtors why because realtors have clients that move in and out of properties and what do clients that move in and out of properties need they need their carpets cleaned a lot of them do okay because a lot of them don't have money to put fresh new carpet if they do that's great but if they don't guess what they're gonna need them washed whether it's the person selling the home and they're gonna need it washed so the house looks good or whether it's somebody buying the home that you know they just bought it because they got a good price but they don't have money to put carpet themselves guess what they're gonna want those carpet shampooed so that's a great way to uh, to get business and it's repeat business because you got you know you got yourself ten of the hottest realtors in your market area guess what they're doing a bunch of the business they're going to be able to refer you left and right oh yeah you need your carpets this is who I use you do a great job realtors don't like to be bothered and have to have 30 people that do one service in their uh, in their Rolodex so if you do a great job it's just less work for them to have to go out there and network and find other people to do that so realtors are one they're their gold mine another place is uh, title companies where these people go to closing you know you want to go to all the title companies and network with them uh, drop off your business cards and your brochures at the title company that way people you know they're closing they might look they're like oh look you know we're, we're talking about getting our carpets clean and guess what there it is a card right there okay some realtors they just do a few deals here and there and really they're not that good and they don't even you know help out their clients with like here's the numbers of the local companies to get your utilities cut on here's local plumbers local painters some of them don't do that kind of stuff so those are where you know you'll be able to land them through the title company
because everybody has to go to closing on the property and most people need their carpets cleaned okay um, right here I recommend this program it's $19.95 and then it's uh, $9.95 monthly membership you'll be able to network with other carpet cleaning businesses uh, bounce ideas off you know if you're starting off you know you gotta you gotta grind you gotta hustle it's not gonna be an overnight success you're gonna be able to you know get a lot of inspiration and network with other like-minded people so I highly recommend this program um, it's very inexpensive you can go through the website go to the testimonials freaking ask questions cleaning tips okay so just wanted to wrap up this video thank you for listening thank you for watching I wish you much success and have a blessed day.